Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video, or you can wait for this to be zero, this to be zero, not whatever is over there, that to be zero, and press play on your copy of this episode, and I'll press play on my copy. If you're not new to these videos, if you've been watching for a while, you might be wondering why I switched it up. I decided to say link in the description right away, because I wonder if I lose viewers, because they don't think to check the description, because they don't like timers. Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, all because I was looking at my video analytics and a lot of people stop watching around the 30 second mark, which is about when I say there's a link in the description. So it makes me wonder if a lot of people don't think to check the description because I don't do redirect in the title just because like, I don't think it should be necessary, but a a additive, uh, I I'll talk about the episode's title and such when we get past this. Uh, that's the last time I'm going to explain this. So yay. Uh, three, two, one. So this is season three, episode one of Haikyuu, Haikyuu third season, uh, called Greetings! Uh, I can't do greetings without doing the, the Joker voice at least once. Uh, they're gonna be going up against Shira Torizawa, probably in the next episode or two. Uh, I imagine it's probably gonna take, like, the first three or four episodes of the season just to take on this team, and honestly, I'm expecting them to win... Because if they don't go to Nationals, it's just going to be rehashing the same plot points again. And I don't expect them to do that. It would be realistic. Because it looks like Shiratori's always just more ready for this whole thing than they are. But uh, I wouldn't exactly be good TV either. So that's my guess. I could be very wrong. Honestly, them beating Alba Jose was the, uh, the need I had for the major victory moment. So I'm okay however they do this, but... I much rather they win so we can see them in new situations. What sucks about doing the thing, getting people away from this video faster, saying redirect in the description, uh, is that that's probably gonna lower my watch time a little on my videos across the channel, so curses! <laughs> but whatever, it's worth it for the better viewing experience. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe to make up for the difference. Yokels. Ooh, look at that wrinkles on his shirt. Ah, because he's been sweating a lot. He, it's stick clinging to him. I'm digging this so far. Okay. Aha! Was that to, like, represent that, uh, them, he's the one who flies? Hmm. Musically, I'm enjoying this intro a lot, but the action seems a little disjointed from it, if I'm being honest. Very beautiful animation, it's just uh, it's not suiting the music as too well as all I'm saying. A crow, raven, whatever it is. Ooh, is there relatively short members on their team, too? A lot of beautiful shots in that intro. Like I said, the, mu the music was great, the animation was great, they just didn't fit together that well. In my opinion. What do you guys think? What's freaky about this season to me is that there is only 10 episodes, so is it just going to be really fast-paced, or is not much going to happen this season? Aww. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Wait, is that actually good luck for J- Is it not like acting where you should be like, break a leg? Oh, is she a tsundere? I got it. No! No! Ah! 
I see them winning this. Just because of the reasons I stated, but it's gonna be hard. I've never been in this kind of situation. It's probably an amazing and horrifying feeling. Who's gonna panic? Oh, he's talking about getting girls. <laughs> I'm glad I ended up li I ended up liking Tanaka as much as I do in this show because I was he was pro probably the one that worried me the most for not being able to like them. It's an irregular length episode. I was curious if it was long. <laughs> Was someone we know? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're from that team. Yep. I recognize him because of the freckles. I can't remember the names. Oh, yeah, that's why I recognize him. Because of the freckles. That's right. Wait, they don't know? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping that uh, the friend from the start, I think it was Freckles, was going to be a bigger part of the show, because I kind of liked the characterization they were giving him. He was so laser focused on volleyball that the only way for him to make friends was for other volleyball players. Yamaguchi, I had Sugawara in my head for his name and I was like, that's not right. That's a different guy. He still got the bruise. I wonder how long it's going to take for that to go away. No. Ah. I wonder if he's important. Wouldn't it be messed up if that's the little giant? Like, he just looks older than he actually is. And he also got a lot taller. Ha! They got the full on. Ah, dog. Cheer squad hopefuls. Ah. Oh, 
Honestly, we haven't seen as much of him as I expected in this show for his <laughs> for a, his first couple episodes appearances. It sounded like he was going to end up being a bigger thorn in the side of the the team. <laughs> oh, come on, Yachi. It's okay. Wait, who is it? Oh. Who is it? Who is it? Ah, no, okay. Wow. They got it on point. They're used to being on top. The, I guess the most surprising thing that could happen here is that Shiratorizawa just completely gets stomped. They don't even get a point, nothing. That would be the most shocked I could possibly be from the events that happen in these next couple episodes. Well, okay, okay. If a nuclear bomb hits the school and everybody dies and it's like an apocalypse show after that, okay, that'll surprise me a little more. But that uh, within the bounds of what's possible for this show, that's what would surprise me the most. They're fashionably late. There's a difference. Ooh, that was cool. It had like a sixth sense for it. I like that it, they at least look determined when the other team shows up. All right, you got what the cat mouth guy with the red hair. As the one who I noticed first. I didn't have enough time to look at the others. Oh, we're back in time. Dang it. Incomplete meaning they don't fit well together. They're all... Oh. Yachi Hitoka. Is Ushijima the, uh, big guy? The uh, main guy? So basically, th their, their methodology is crushing force. Yeah. 
they're not exactly a well-rounded team, but that doesn't matter if you, uh, win in two minutes. It's- they're- they're the Mike Tyson of teams! If you can overcome their crushing force, they- they're not good for the long game, is how it sounds like. Yeah, I know some sports references. Like, hey. <laughs> Wait, is he famous? Did we learn about these guys like in a previous episode offhand? Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to see the people who don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh guess they gotta think about after their uh, big shot's gone What's Ben K? I'm sorry. If they explained it, I'm sorry. I missed it. Ah! They can do it. I don't know if they will or not, but that's my guess. Ooh. Do you think they're gonna win because, like, one of the other- one of the, uh, Shiratori Zawa folks gets injured? So, they don't get as much credit as they should for winning the final? <laughs> it's gotta be freaky! How is show you going to be okay? <laughs> you got to love that energy. Oh no, he's going to embarrass himself, isn't he? Oh no. He's got it. He's got it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. He handled it. He's in the game. He's focused. Yeah. 
Uh, Nishino is the one I'm worried about now. Alright, alright, he's cool, cool. Of all people to embarrass themselves. Okay. This is cool. The whole first episode of season three was just set up. Wow. Man, who does he remind me of? He looks cool. Ah, tag with both teams. Cheer for who you want to win. That's how this goes. What? This could be the whole season if this is a five set match. Yeah, but it's also only one match in the day. This could be interesting. They need to go for endurance. Oh, we're getting a, who, who's going to score first. I think we're going to, the, the episode's going to end with their super quick. It's going to go through. No way it doesn't. Oh, oh, shit. It was just too powerful. He ain't gonna get perturbed by one loss. Ooh, I like the doodle style here. That's really doodle. That's what we had in the previous season. What's the, what would you consider this? The more watercolor, I guess? I don't know. Um, clip art, it looks like, given how they're moving in between each other like that. That's the white hair guy I was talking about. The one who's like doing the, 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 uh, yeah, that's the guy I've seen before. Alba Jose, of course, right there. Aww. <laughs> how did how did Nishinoya get himself into that position? That's nutty, Tanaka as well. That whole thing was fun. Guess that means no one matches Shoyu and Kageyama for speed. 
next episode.